Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, reading Excel files. Um, we've got a, this is on the NIME hub. So if you expand this little guy, expand data access and go down to reading files, you can actually look at this file, download it and go through it just like I'm going through today. So this is a really cool little workflow. So you've got one, two, and three. This one actually reads it. It's going to convert the string to a date time. It's going to extract the month and then it's going to group it. Um, and so let's go through this top one and then we'll go through these bottom ones and talk through it. So first thing is uh, you can always configure. It's going to show you um, what the data is going to look like. Uh, it's pretty standard, uh, pretty easy as well. Not made any changes. Um, and then if you process it, you can actually look at the output table. So let's look at the output table. I've already processed this. You'll notice this, this little guy here is an S, which means it's a string which is why you've got to convert this, um, which converts that uh, from a string to an actual date time. Using that date time, you can extract uh, the fields, which let's look at that. And essentially, we're going to extract the month name. Um, and if we look at that here, uh, it's going to give us, uh, we've converted this string to a date. We've converted that date into, a, into the month name. And then we're going to do a group by. Uh, the group by is really cool. So essentially, you're going to group by month name. Um, and if we click on this secondary piece, we're going to um, sum the hours. And that's going to give us uh, this single single set. Now, uh, if you're using um, if you're using Excel a lot, you are going to this looks really familiar where you're going to be aggregating it all together. But this is where it starts to get beautiful is when you come down here. So this is going to loop through all the sheets. So if we come in here and we hit configure, we're going to just point it to a sheet. What that's going to do is it's going to give us uh, read all the sheet names from that uh, from that sheet. And then if we hit configure on the, this, this is going to loop and it's going to pass this variable. So let's go ahead and run this. It's going to give us all the sheet names. And if we look at that, those are our sheet names. So we've got, essentially, we have a spreadsheet with uh, 12 tabs, right? Which makes sense, one for each month. Um, we're going to turn that, those columns um, into variables. And if we execute this, uh, what that's going to do is it's going to pass the sheets into here. And you'll notice that we've got a flow variable. That flow variable passes the sheet name in. Um, and that sheet is going to loop through each sheet. And if we come over here and we hit process, essentially, it's going to go through each sheet and it's going to give us all that data. So now we've got our collected result. Um, you'll notice iteration. Um, iteration essentially is month um, for this for this purpose. But it's going to loop through everything, and if we run the rest, it's going to give us by month uh, the data that we're looking for. So now we take this to the next level, and we add a list of files. So we're going to process this. We're going to process this. Let's see what those files are. Again, it's going to give us those list of files. So it's, we're going to go through each list, and then we're going to go through each file and you're going to loop. Again, we're passing the loop to the Excel sheet so that we can grab all the sheet names, so we can grab all the loops, and essentially we've got two loops. So in this bottom one, this is awesome, right? So you pick a folder, you grab all of the Excel sheets, you grab all of the sheets, and you put it all together. Now, I will tell you that it can get a little complicated, um, and where it does get complicated is if the uh, sheet headers are different. Um, so then you can run into some complexity. But if we process this whole thing, we have, uh, if we look at this group table, we've got uh, a similar look at data. But this is three different ways to uh, grab data from folders, to grab all the sheets on a file, um, and really put it all together in, and wrap it up and tie it in a bow. Um, this is where NIME does a killer job just processing data that's standardized, and I hope you guys can use this.